back with another video on easy math in previous video on trigonometry we learnt about three systems of measuring angles okay today let's see some topics like relation between those three systems and some other <coughs> Okay, now let's start with relation between three systems of measurement of an angle. As we know, there are three systems, sexagesimal, centesimal and radian system or circular system. Okay, now let's see the relation between them. Okay, now let's take D is the number of degrees and R is the number in radians and G is the same, same measurement in grades. 90 degrees is equal to 1 right angle, right? 1 degree is equal to 1 by 90 right angle. So, D degrees is equal to D by 90 right angles. Theta is equal to D by 90 right angles. This is in degrees. Okay, now, if we take radians, 1 pi radians is equal to 2 right angles. Means 1 radian is 2 by pi right angles means r radians are 2r by pi right angles so here theta is equal to 2r by pi okay now in grades 100 grades is equal to one right angle right means one grade is equal to one by 100 right angles g grades means we should multiply with g on both sides g by 100 right angles means theta is equal to g by 100 from 1 2 and 3 Theta is equal to d by 90, theta is equal to 2r by pi, theta is equal to g by 100. So, d by 90 is equal to g by 100 is equal to 2r by pi, where d is measurement in degrees, g is measurement in grades, and r is measurement in radians. Okay, now let's take trigonometric ratios or some functions. Okay, now let us consider an angle theta. X, O, A is an angle theta. Let P be a point other than O on its terminal side. Be the perpendicular from P on X axis. And length of O, P, B, R. I mean the length O, P is R. And the length O, M is X. And the length M, P is equal to Y. Now, the length of OP is R, always positive, right? X and Y can be positive or negative, but the length of OP will be po positive any time. Okay. Now, in the right angle triangle OMP, if we take the right angle triangle OMP, OM is X and PM is Y and hypotenuse is R as we know before. Then the trigonometric equations are sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse means PM by hypotenuse and cos theta means it is base by hypotenuse or adjacent side by hypotenuse as we know this side is adjacent to theta if we take off hypotenuse and tan theta or tangent is perpendicular by base is called as tangent it is written as tan theta okay cosecant means it is written as cosec cosec theta is equal to it is the inverse of sine. You can remember this way easily. Hypotenuse by perpendicular means R by Y. Okay, now based on the picture, secant theta will be hypotenuse by base. Means R by X. It is written as secant theta. And cotangent, it is written as cot. It is base by perpendicular. Okay, now, based on the following, we can tell that sin theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1. Okay, if you see sin theta, sin theta 
is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Cos and theta is hypotenuse by perpendicular. If you multiply them, you will get 1. That means sin theta is equal to 1 by cos and theta or cos and theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. And cos theta into sec and theta is equal to 1. As you can see, sec and theta is hypotenuse by base and cos and theta is base by hypotenuse. So cos theta into sec and theta is equal to 1. From this, you can get that cos theta is equal to 1 by secant, secant theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. Now, next one is tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1. Cot theta is base by perpendicular, tan theta is perpendicular by base. And tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. If you take tan theta, you multiply that with 1 by hypotenuse in both numerator and denominator, it becomes perpendicular by hypotenuse by base by hypotenuse, which is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. Similarly, cot theta is equal to cos theta by <laughs>
sin theta is equal to y by r has sin of y and cos theta has sin of x because r is always positive. The sin of tan theta depends on sines of x and y means it depends on cos theta and sin theta. And other trigonometrical ratios are same because those all are inverses of these three. Okay, now if I take the first quadrant, x will be greater than 0, y will also be greater than 0. Okay, here the signs of x and y are denoted as if the terminal side is in the right side of the y axis, they are positive and left side of the y axis, they are negative. And y, signs of y are denoted if it is above the x axis, they are positive. If they are below the x axis, they are negative. Okay, now in first quadrant, x will be greater than 0 and y will also be greater than 0. Means both are possible. Both are positive. So, sin theta is equal to y by r. Here, y is greater than 0. So, sin theta is also greater than 0. Next, if we take cos theta, cos theta is equal to x by r, here x is positive. So, cos theta is greater than 0 and tan theta, y by x, here both are positive, so it is also greater than 0. And similarly, cosecant is sine inverse. So, if sine inverse is greater than 0, cosecant is also greater than 0. Cos theta is greater than 0, so secant theta is greater than 0 because these two are reciprocals. Similarly, tan theta is greater than 0, so cot theta is also greater than 0. Okay, in first quadrant, all trigonometrical functions are positive. Okay, you should remember these. These are important topics. Okay, now if we take second quadrant. In second quadrant, we have x is less than 0. Because it will be in the left side of the y-axis. So, x is less than 0, y is greater than 0. So, if we take sin theta, y is greater than 0. So, it is greater than 0. And if we take cos theta, cos theta, x is less than 0. So, cos theta is also less than 0. So, it is negative. And if we take tan theta, tan theta is y by x. Here, y is positive, but x is negative. So, we will get negative sign. So, it is less than 0. Similarly, sine inverse, cosecant. So, sine is greater than 0, cosecant is greater than 0. Cos is less than 0, secant is also less than 0. Tan is less than 0, so cot is also less than 0. So, in second quadrant, sine and cosecant are positive and are remaining are all negative. Okay, now in third quadrant. In third quadrant, x is less than 0 and y is less than 0. So, sin theta is dependent on y so it is less than 0 cos theta dependent on x so it is less than 0 tan theta dependent on x and y here both are minus they will be cancelled so it will be greater than 0 cosecant theta reciprocal of sin theta it is less than 0 secant theta reciprocal of cos theta it is also less than 0 tan theta cot theta reciprocal of tan theta it is also greater than 0 so, in third quadrant, except tan and cotangent or cot, remaining all are negative. In fourth quadrant, x will be greater than 0 and y will be less than 0. Okay, these signs are little reverse. Okay, for sine theta, let's do these concepts and let's see on our own. Okay, first, sine theta. Sine theta is dependent on y. Here y is less than 0. So sin theta is less than 0. Here there is a small mistake. And cos theta. Here x is greater than 0. So cos is also greater than 0. And tan theta. In tan theta, y is less than 0. x is greater than 0. So it will also be less than 0. Cosecant theta, inverse of sin. So it will also be less than 0. Secant theta, inverse of cos, it will be greater than 0. Cot theta, inverse of tan, it will be less than 0. So, in fourth quadrant, all trigonometric functions are negative except cosine and secant. This is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, not you when I release a new video. If you have any notes, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.
in next video on trigonometry we will see some values for trigonometrical ratios